Move on to our next session, Employee Engagement, a roadmap for optimizing performance and driving commitment. Today, society and business are witnessing unprecedented change in an increasingly global marketplace with many companies competing for talent. As organizations move forward into a boundaryless environment, the ability to attract, engage, develop and retain talent will become increasingly important. Employee engagement is defined as the extent to which employees commit to something or someone in their organization and how, how hard they work and how long they stay to their commitment. The chairperson for this session, Mr. Vijay Desh Pandey, Vice Pre President, Head, Head HR, JK Tire Industry Limited. Now I request Mr. Vijay, pa Vijay Desh Pandey to please come on the dais and share his thoughts. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, right at the start we would like to tell you that we do not intend to delay the session beyond 1.30. Is that alright? Okay, so we don't want to delay your lunch. The simple reason is we want you to be engaged with this session thoroughly. Okay, I'm not going to take much of time. I'm not going to define engagement for you. Engagement, I don't know where it comes from. I would like to hear from the Galaxy of speakers sitting over here. They are going to share their thoughts with you. Uh, but I, I just wonder what is engagement? What does, what does it make that drives people to really perform? For example, I wonder Dr. Ramakant Panda, who is the physician and the surgeon to the President of India, and he conducts the most complicated surgeries of the heart. He smiles and he changes the wards of the heart. And his record is he has not failed in one single operation not one single operation and he has lost the count of the surgeries on the heart. He keeps people young, he keeps their hearts throbbing. What does it drive? What does drive him to perform exceedingly better day after day? I don't know. Probably that's engagement. I always wonder the great Pandit Bhinsen Joshi who recently died at the ripe age of something like 84 and he was a great singer, a great singer. And he used to sing, the last he sang was in Savai Gandharva Pune, the music festival. And he sang at the age of 82, he couldn't come onto the dais. He had to be supported to be, to be brought onto the dais. And he sang a wonderful melody. And the whole hall was in trial. What did motivate him? What was that engagement? I really wonder what makes people tick. Or take another example, our dear Sachin. He hits fours and sixes. Hits fours and sixes. What does keep him engaged? Is competition keeping him engaged? I wonder whether competition is keeping him engaged. Bhala uski kameez mere kameez se safed kyo? I don't think that is the motive. That is, I don't think that's the engagement. The engagement to my mind as I see is an emotional response to whatever you do. If you feel emotionally responding to what you want to do, the engagement happens automatically. I believe with my 33 years experience in the industry now, it's not the money that engages people. It's not the titles that engage people. It does. It has, it has its own, it has some limited role. But the engagement really comes out of something else. It's the emotional response that makes you do what you want to do with your heart and soul in it. My simple definition of engagement is whatever you are doing, if you are doing with your heart and soul in it, I think you are engaged. And to talk more about different dimensions of this engage, engagement and how to get the emotional response of people, we have a galaxy of speakers and I am going to leave the job to the galaxy of, galaxy of speakers. I will take half a minute to introduce each one of them. In fact, I must tell you, taking half a minute to introduce to each one of them is grossly unfair to their, them and their personalities. And HR, but I'm sure there is a great combination and that combination is working because that's how he is successful in this field of HR for something like 20 odd years. We'll hear more from him and his introduction will come with his own presentation. And then Mr. Biswaroop Goswami, 
sitting here on the dais. And it's also a wonderful combination. His graduation is in chemistry and his graduation is also in law. I don't know what is that chemistry. The law and chemistry, I don't know what kind of compound it will create. But it definitely is creating a very successful compound and that compound is making him and his job successful in HR. He's doing a great job in HR and he's currently working with MRNGF, the company that was known for a variety of reasons. But of course, with people like Vishwaroop Goswami there in that company, I'm sure nothing can ever go wrong with the company. He will, he will see that people are engaged to the right cause. Third great personality on the dais is Shoshana Alice. I just want to read what is said about her. Shoshana is passionate about working with people to identify and grow their strengths, their wisdom and natural leadership capabilities. I am feeling so sad that I am meeting Shoshana today. I wish she was older and I was working under her at some point of time and she was my great coach and mentor. And I am sure Vijay Nishpande would have been far more successful a person if I had someone like Shoshana as my mentor and coach. She is a great mentor and she is going to uh, share her thoughts with you on engagement. <laughs> So with these three galaxies of people, I would leave the subject to, to them and tell us what is this, this wonderland of uh, engagement, what is it that makes people engaged, how do people really get involved in whatever they do with their heart and soul in it and how they with this great engagement produce greater results. We will do it like this. Uh, the first speaker will be Rajkumar Segal and uh, sorry, Rajesh Kumar Segal and Rajesh is going to take something like 20 or minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And I must tell them that once upon a time I was a teacher and I was a headmaster and I used to have stick in my hand. Of course, I don't want to use it, but we will see that he takes 20 odd minutes because. The idea is we would like to have some some time left, good reasonable time left for questions and answers. Do we want time for that? Yeah. So Rajesh, we would request you to stay within 20 minutes. Then Vishwaroop will speak and Vishwaroop has said that he won't take more than 15 minutes. I'm sure the, the material that he has, uh, he will be doing injustice to the, to the material that he has to present it to you in 15 minutes, but then uh, all great things also have a time limit, all good things have a, have a good time limit and he will contain it within 15 minutes. And then Shoshana, we would listen to you. She will also take something like 15 to 20 minutes. If time permits and if you permit, I would take maybe 5 more minutes to conclude. And uh, of course we will have a, a good question answer session. So Rajesh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Vinay. Good morning. Good afternoon, brother. I'm going to start with a small film. You know, I thought the best way to do it, I'll start with a three-minute film. I'll end with a three-minute film. That means I'll speak for less than 10 minutes. All right? Good. Uh, essentially, I want to take you through what is engagement.
engagement all about. If time permits, I'm going to show you again another film, which will be three minutes, three tips in three minutes on uh, what can you do to engage in three minutes. Uh, so what's the structure for me? What is the engagement? Uh, Vijay covered what's the engagement. I'm going to just show you a couple of definitions of different HR consultants to confuse you further. Oh, what I mean is, you know, everybody has a meaning for it. I want to share with you our engagement framework, which we call it for touch. What does it mean? Uh, what, what it's all about? And show you some pictures of what we do. So different definitions <coughs> of engagement is the extent of discretionary effort. I like that one very much. It's knowing what to do at work and wanting to do at work. So it's not being the guy sitting with his shoes up. Involvement, enthusiasm for work, that's the Gallup guys. The habit guys say stay, stay, uh, stay, stay and strive. So what are the people, are they going to say here? What do they say about the company? What do they strive? And are they going to be staying? How do we measure engagement? Organizations today measure it with technology using some consultants or in-house questionnaires. Uh, but why engagement? And that's why I picked up a couple of more slides there. Because again, India is again back out of the recession. We are once again hiring in big numbers. I don't know how many of you read day before. IT industry is going to have a net addition of 2.25 lakhs this year. Where is the manpower going to come from? A lot of them are going to be precious but there will be others who will be pulled from outside the industry. I know within my own organization over the period of years, we pull people from manufacturing, especially in quality. Those guys are great. In a manufacturing scenario, they do the best quality practices, very advanced processes. We just import those guys in. Process management, value stream mapping. So uh, technical staff would, which can move across industries whether and support staff would be the one that would be pulled up. What does it mean? If today we are facing a middle management crunch, eventually we will have a leadership crunch, another five years down the line. Okay? Of course, attrition is a combination of push factors and pull factors. Market is good, attrition will increase, engagement you still have to keep doing, but uh, the pull factors of the market that you can't control so much, push factors is what you can control. What I want to show in the next two slides, is engaging top performers, keeping them engaged is the top HR challenge in India. That's another study showing retaining top performers and keeping them engaged is the biggest issue for most people. 61% of the people said one, one is the most challenging thing on a scale. One is highest, five is lowest. That's what people said in the survey, recent last year survey. This is another interesting thing and I from that study, just picked up three slides because I thought those three slides uh, lay for us the foundation of what we believe is engagement and uh, what's the difference between what we believe and what people believe. If you see here for India, which is in red, you see dramatic differences between what the employer believes and what employee values from an engagement point of view. Availability of better pension, in India people think that's not what Gen X wants, Gen Y wants, but it seems in the survey it seems the other way. 21% of the employers feel that, 90% of the employees. See the variation in the other ones. Greater job security, employees don't care. Employers feel, yes, they care. We, we provide job security. They don't care. They're moving every two, three years anyway. So you provide job security, thank you. We don't care. Right? That's what the employees are saying. The other one, you see a mismatch. Improve work-life balance. Employers feel, no, not really. They, they don't value it so much as to leave. Employees say 88% of them value it highest. Yeah? Carry advancement and others are matching. More flexible work hours. Again, you find a big discrepancy between what the employee perceives it to be and what the employer perceives it to be. 87% and 42%. I still have 10 more minutes with you? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. I'll take another 6 7 minutes for me, and if I have 3 minutes, I'll do the film for you. I think it's an interesting film to see. All right, so what are we doing? I'm, you know, I thought I should share what we do, what is our model uh, of engagement because it's uh, easy to talk about generic, which I did. Uh, more specific of what you do, what are you doing about it, knowing this. Okay, so we came up with a term, we call it input touch. We think we need to touch the mind, heart, and soul of each employee. What does this acronym really mean? 
because we had we realized in Asia we were doing a lot of things. It's not like we were not doing, but they were not connected, and that's where we felt that there was a gap. If the things are not connected, people don't see the overall thing about you. You know how many companies have an engagement calendar? Everybody has that. Learning calendar, training calendar is announced. We also have a learn, now engagement calendar. We announce a quarterly engagement calendar because people should get the visibility of what's that overall the company is doing over the next three months for us. It's not only about training, so we have a training calendar, but we also have an engagement calendar. All right, um, it's about internal communication, branding. Each one of these has further slides, which I obviously don't show you today. But I mean, in each of these, the internal communication, I have a list of activities we would be doing. Say about 8, 10. Total of 52, we thought for 52 weeks we should have one activity a week. <laughs> yes. New adventures, so we have social interest groups, interest groups for dance, drama, etc. I hope I have those in the succeeding slides. Fun at work, outperforming, talent, development, letting go, letting go, Three main axes, fun and well-being. So fun at work is important, growth and development is important. It's not only about fun. You can have fun, but are you going to say in that organization? No, you need growth. Growth in terms of vertical growth, growth in terms of knowledge, skills. So is the company really investing in me? In me? Is it providing me the opportunity? And then the third part is communication. We say enough of communication, but it's never enough. You know, I did an engagement survey, and just to share with you quickly in a minute, we did recently an engagement survey with Hevit. I did sessions like this for 150 managers at a time, four hour sessions, taking them through what is engagement, scores we got, and then converting that into say, why the score and why, because the scores are different location wise, etc. Covered 1,000 managers across the company globally, and still people say we have not communicated enough. So I do not know where to stop in communication. You know, just a mail, they say, anyway, so many mails come, it's too much for calling. So we said, okay, captive audience, 100, 150 people in a room, I do sessions for you, four hours, spread over a month, fly around the locations doing it, still is not enough. So uh, communication is something we believe is need to focus more and look at it more deeply. The other part of connect is the employee connect and the manager connect. How much is because HR at the end and in most organizations I was hearing in IBM there only less than 100 for 30,000 people or now 100,000 plus people. I heard uh, 70 when there were 70,000. Uh, we have 70, but I still think for 8,000 employees, uh, yeah, I didn't want to talk about me or the company, I'm sorry, maybe just as a perspective, we are 8,000 employees, I need company. Uh, we have about 80 people in HR, and uh, I think it's a challenge, really, to for HR to interact with everybody. The manager is the HR guy for the person. And so it's about manager connect is the most important. Manager needs to understand that what HR can do is provide the right atmosphere, right? Coaching for the managers, atmosphere for them to understand how to handle people, but it's then for the managers to take off. So we believe manager connect is very important. Six monthly year survey where the managers get us covered on how do their team members rate them on different parameters. Okay, and then a score which reflects, which is connected to their PLI or their incentive, performance link incentive. We have the balance score cup based incentive. Parameter there is also your manager connect score, your attrition in your team. Okay. This is the calendar, I was saying, just like you have a training calendar, we have a calendar for our engagement, when will the main be gone, what will the other things be happening. Um, yeah, we do all the things people do, so yes, we'll do, I'll leave you to just read the slides. Uh, branding, people talk about branding, okay, we should see more of Infotech, we came up with the Infotech shop, unfortunately I'm not wearing the shirt from Infotech, but yes, we made a shop, you can buy shirts with a logo, you can buy t-shirts, etc. How much you invest on branding? We came up with initiatives where a manager thanks a person, pat on the back, you get a voucher which you can use to buy things off the shop, etc. So we're doing things, like I said, in this InfoTouch model is all about connecting the various things. Thing. How can the reward recognition also lead to branding? How can branding be connected to other things? How can this be connected to your performance? Reason? How can it be connected to your career? Uh, so once uh, your career is growth would depend also on how is your overall balance code card score. It's not only about your money, but it's also if you are too low on the people parameters, they, you would need to work on it before you can grow further. Another thing we came up with, uh, I think maybe other companies also are probably doing, everybody does town halls. We also came up with virtual town halls. Being an IT company with associates spread across the globe, we say virtual town halls are important. Uh, for instance, I work out at the NOIDA office, our head office is in Hyderabad. 
I can log in, people can ask issues. For that one hour, we are all logged in globally. We answer everybody's queries. Uh, because you know, leaders today can't be available face to face all the time. You need to do something to be available and be heard. We have many other initiatives, walk a mic, the leaders go down, speak with the people. So even when I visit the office, I would go and meet a team. Team of 20, 30 people, there's a defined program on how you do. You go about meeting, understanding what they are doing. Walk a mile is understanding what work they do, may not be related to your area, and understanding them as people. That connects so that the trust is built. They can walk up to you wherever. Because across the teams, across the leaders, that connect is there. Of course, skip level meetings, surveys, etc. other things keep happening. I talk about interest groups. Interest groups in different areas, music, dance, drama, uh, those exist. Just wanted to put up a picture of Women's Day. We are the 100 year celebration now. We did it with a twist, and I just wanted to highlight, I mean, yes, most companies probably did a Women's Day celebration and had flowers for the ladies, had some awards for the leaders. We did the same. We had the awards for the leaders as well, women leaders. But then we did not tell them we invited their spouses without them knowing. And we went to extra effort to get the spouses. Somebody was in a tour at Bangalore, we flew him back without his wife knowing. He was supposed to come the next day, he was there the day before, and she didn't know. So just when the awards were announced, there were guys sitting with Mark, or you know, guys because they were all lady women, uh, leaders who were getting the awards. People sitting with Mark, like you see, uh, and then you know, when the awards set, we got one by one, and people were crying, they were so emotional, they did not realize that uh, we went to that extent. So I'm saying, engagement or any initiative you do, it's about your passion. He was talking about such as, uh, it's the passion. How much are you really getting into it? How much are you interested? So it's difficult to get the number of the spouse without the person really knowing. HR doesn't always have the updated numbers. So somehow to get it, right? And to manage it. So that's why the picture there. Um, of course, we have a, for ladies, we have a focus program. We call it Spurti. Just wanted to show you a picture there. That's a logo for Spurti. Women entrenched well in the ground, but looking up and holding it as a team together, the tree. Okay, so school is a program where every month we do some program for them. Women leaders from the industry speak or we create specific programs for their needs. Rendezvous, a program for leadership team to meet them, communicate with them. Another small thing, I'm sure quite a few of you already probably do it, appreciation trees. So we said, you know, everybody can appreciate everyone. There's a physical tree that you see here at each location and virtual trees. For a week in a year, we come up with what we say, Appreciation week. That's the time for you to appreciate each other. Thank everybody you want to thank. You can thank your colleagues, your boss, you can thank the guy who serves your team, anybody. Yeah, and then there are awards for who gets the maximum leaves across locations, in each location, etc. Who gives out the maximum leaves at uh, etc. And so people are very proud to stand with the tree and say, you know, I got so many leaves on the tree, and then they can carry back those leaves for a year, display them at their workstations. Other associate contact programs. We did quite a few, we all do fun at work. I'm still in my time. If you want to see a film, I can show you. I have another three minute film. Films are not mine, they are films I got from YouTube. Uh, these are films, honestly, I collected also for my sessions, but you know, that's engagement in three minutes. I hope it's not muted. <coughs> Volume, please. Volume. 30 seconds. 30 seconds again. If I can. Volume, please. Volume. 30 seconds. Volume, please. 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 Volume, Everyone who likes to get things done eventually relies on other people. And knowing how to do that can be the difference between success and disaster. If that got you thinking, then we just have a mean for engagement. And it only took 30 seconds. But it can take even less time than that. But why spend even a few seconds on it? Well, we have some striking evidence that a few moments can be used.